Hey, Nord Anglia. We were flooded with thousands of questions from you for Dr. Kerry Emanuel. You ready for some answers? Here we go. Well, first, I'd like to say hello to all the students of Nord Anglia. It's a real pleasure to be with all of you here today, and I really appreciate the questions you all sent, and you sent in some very, very interesting questions, and I'll try to answer a few of them now. Ryan from San Roberto International School is asking, how are hurricanes made? Well, thanks for that question, Ryan. It's a very interesting question. A hurricane is, is an engine, actually. An engine broadly conceived as something that takes one kind of energy and converts it into something that we regard as useful. And a hurricane turns heat energy from the ocean into wind. And the problem with hurricanes, and the reason why we don't have them all the time, is that they need a starting mechanism. It's a little bit like a lawnmower, which is another kind of engine. With a hurricane, there's a cord that has to be yanked. There has, you have to really push the atmosphere to get a hurricane. And it's that part of it we don't understand particularly well. Once the, the motor is started, we know the physics well enough to be able to predict how strong it could potentially get, but we're still working hard on trying to understand that cord and how it gets yanked. Mariona, Drew, and Wes from Nord Anglia International School, New York, have a question. Hello. Hello there. My question is, where exactly within the hurricane do you fly? If you fly around the outside or if you go inside? Thanks, Thanks you for, for listening. listening. Bye. It's very interesting flying into a hurricane. Um, you just go through a lot of rain and cloud, as you might have been on a commercial airliner when it's flying in rain and it's dull and it's dark and it's there's a little bit of turbulence usually and then very suddenly you break through the inner edge of what we call the eye wall into the eye and suddenly the sun comes out if it's daytime it's like standing in a coliseum that's really really big with blinding white walls and the bright blue sky of the stratosphere above sometimes you see sort of cascades of ice crystals falling down the inside of the eye wall so it's a really spectacular sight, and I think everyone should see it. So I'm contemplating starting a hurricane safari operation after I retire. Maybe you'll be my first customer. Louise from Collège Champité Puy made a fun comic to present her question. Hello, I'm Louise and I'm from Champité. I don't know a lot about cyclones, but I have a question. My question is, could Switzerland be hit by a cyclone? Well, Louise, thank you for your question. I have visited your wonderful country, and it, it's really, really beautiful. The answer to your question is, uh, is no. Uh, we don't have hurricanes in Switzerland. But you don't have to go very far away from Switzerland to see a kind of hurricane that we call a Medicaid. It's kind of a slang term for a hurricane that occurs over the Mediterranean Sea. And they're somewhat unusual. You might have once, uh, one every two years or so. They don't get quite as strong as tropical hurricanes, but they have eyes, they have eye walls, and they work on the same physical mechanism as hurricanes, and they can form just about anywhere in the Mediterranean, and even, as happened earlier this year, in the Black Sea. Hulbakor from the British School of Tashkent is asking, how can we accurately predict the direction of the cyclone? Well, that's a, a really great question, and it's the question that preoccupies weather forecasters, of course. Where will it go? And we've gotten very good, actually, at predicting the paths of hurricanes a few days ahead of time. And the reason is that a hurricane is kind of like a cork spinning in a turbulent stream, and it just gets carried along by the currents of water. So really, if you understand the large-scale weather patterns, the steering currents of winds up to about 10 miles in altitude uh, in the atmosphere, if you can forecast those, then you can do a pretty good job forecasting the direction of a hurricane's motion. Okay, you go finish your projects. I'm off to book a ticket to the Cyclone Safari. See ya! <laughs>